and your name. <laughs> yeah, Lars Mikkels. Okay, and uh, we're going to talk about, ask you some questions from New Times, which is an asylum seeker newspaper, yep. about what your opinion, perspective is about the situation here in Denmark with the asylum seekers living in the camps. Mm. And what do you think about the families living in the camps and being denied their right to, to have asylum here for many, many years? Women and children and families, for example. I think it's uncomfortable. I'm going to ask her in Danish, yeah? Or in English, is that right? I think, I think it's got no decency doing that. We'll have mm. to pick up pace there and bring these people into our society, even though we're still uh, going through the applications. But, I mean, we have to bring them into society as long as it takes. How would that benefit Denmark to incorporate well, them? Well, it's hard to say, but, I mean, this doesn't benefit us in any way, does it? What we're doing now... There's no beneficial sides to it in Denmark at all. Uh, Some would say it's preserving the Danish culture. Would you agree? Oh, no. No, no, no. I think it's... Uh, if you try to think that there's such a thing as Danish culture, mm. there's a multiculture. Mm. And uh, that's what we're having. This is it. <laughs> so, so, Restrictions uh, about preserving that is just too stupid. Just stupid. Mm. It's not my idea of the world. So, how do you feel as a Dane, uh, seeing your Danish uh, government and immigration office treat uh, asylum seekers in this way? Well, think about it. Yeah, how does it make you feel in a way? Well, it, of course, mm. of course, it doesn't make me feel good. I mean, it makes me uh, ashamed of of being Dane. But I mean, there's so many things for the past eight years. With this government and the, the people that that um, are predominant in, 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 in making this this happen, the asylum system. that does make me feel good about being a thing. So shame is uh, what that comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, will you be voting for this uh, election coming up on November? Oh yeah. Yes. And who will you be voting for? Well, I'm a left wing, so I, I'm I'm voting as if uh, I could be further up. But, uh, okay. Yeah. And what party do you think here in Denmark best represents the humanitarian rights of the? I think in terms of having a say, they would be one of the best parties to have a say. Which one is that? The as if. Okay. Because uh, hopefully they will be in in government. But. Uh, We, we won't know until after the election, do we? But uh, I think their their views on asylums or uh, people coming here for help uh, are uh, much along my own views on it. So. Uh, recently, some Iraqi translators were brought to Denmark yep. uh, from Iraq, and. Uh, They are in a separate uh, center, uh, separate from the other asylum seekers here. And it, there is talk that they will be granted asylum faster and quicker with an easier process than, let's say, some of the other asylum seekers that have been waiting here for many years that are also from Iraq and other countries. Yeah. What do you feel about that kind of differentiation of well, treatment? You can't do that, can you? But, I mean, they, they have to, to treat these people with certain respect because they promised to do that <laughs> so but that only shows that they could do the same to the other people yeah. so uh, it's, it's, mm. that's just stupid I mean it doesn't make me feel any better not at all no okay do you have anything else that you would like to say about uh, to the asylum seekers in general If you have a message for them, some of them are suffering from depression and isolation and confusion and doubt mm. uh, and are finding it difficult to integrate because uh, yeah. there's minimum amount of possibilities for that. Is there anything that you could offer, say? Well, I'd like to, to say to them that, that we do, that we're, we're not indifferent. I mean, a, l a lot of people in this country have the right views on this and wants to help but our situation at the moment is that we're in minority but it's not more than 
<laughs> so I think there's a lot of thoughts and um, help coming your way but it's, it's hard to do it at the moment mm. because of the stupidity of a certain amount of our country mm. and in particular about the children living in the camps I'll give you just an example one of the children is uh, from Iran and he's uh, seven years old yeah. and uh, he's been living in the, the center for about four years and he said to his mommy Uh, because he's very depressed, his father is sick. He says, Mommy, you tell me there's a God. I don't believe there's a God. Who would give us this life in the camps? What do you think about a child to, in, living in these camps, centers? And <laughs> What I think about it is it's yeah. the most horrible thing I ever heard. Of course, it's, it, it disgusts me. So... I, can't, I mean, I can't verbalize it more than that. It shouldn't happen. We shouldn't do this to people. And, I, and shame is... I'm so ashamed. So, what can I say? We'll have to help them. Okay. As much as you can. Thank you.